Hi, welcome to part two of my flea market finds for Saturday, uh, September 21st and Sunday, September 22nd, 2024. Here's part two of the 45s I got. And these are the English ones. <clears throat> All part of a bag, this stack and that stack. Plus, I got this free bag for free as a bonus all of this for two bucks because I I put it along with these eighteen dollars worth of records this was three bucks but he made it twenty two bucks for the 45 so pretty cool a lot of them are clean step into a dream by white plains with Jerry Butler string I didn't know this record but I've played a few seconds of each side it sounds great look to see here we have, let's put this aside, here we have uh, Billy Preston, All I Wanted Was You and this side is With You I'm Born Again featuring Billy Preston and Sirita. Uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, Elton John and Kiki D and if you put the record properly in the sleeve I always liked that as a kid because my uncle Renny had this 45 and I've noticed that if you align the train you have the clouds coming out of the train like that. It's really cute. Anyway. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, Don't go breaking my heart. Elton John and Kiki D and Snow Queen on the other side. A uh, original edition of uh, huh, of Get Dancing Part One and Two by Disco Tex and the Sexolette. A uh, a uh, childhood memory for me because my uncle René who had disco 45s as a teenager at my grandmother's place uh, had this among a lot of other 45s and he had didn't have the original Chelsea label like that he had he had it on the Golden Treasures label like this one with a, a, men, a mention instead of uh, in this case here it's musical it would say Chelsea in small characters I think if I'm not mistaken and he did have that one with this label hot butter popcorn actually plays pretty well and at the movies on the other side uh, these I had removed because I found them still wet these two were wet so I pulled them out to, to dry them up and this record label got damaged Atlantic Star uh, oh that's a yeah always I don't know what that is and this side is instrumental this I do know because of Weird Al Yankovic. This song is part of uh, one of his medleys. Free Way of Love, Aretha Franklin. And uh, Until You Say You Love Me. This I already have. Carol Gianni, The Woman in Me. I think it's the same on both sides. Nope, this side is All the People in the World. More Stars on 45. I have to check if it's a better copy than mine. But I think mine is already perfect. So this is uh, the one with Papa Royals, a Rolling Stone, etc. And uh, the other side is 45 stars, get ready. Ugh. This I probably have already. Love Steam, The All Love, Unlimited Orchestra, and Sweet Moments. You, <laughs> you Light Up My Life by Debbie Boom, he's a rebel. Down the, uh, this is Nadia Steen, The Young and the Restless by Baggy, the Vorzon, and Perry Botkin Jr. Down the line on this side. Another copy of Love to Love You Baby <laughs> by Donna Summer. Too bad there's a name here because I think it's a pretty clean copy, I'm not sure. Mm. Two scuffs, Needham and Blues. I, I, I love both sides. My, my uncle Jean-Marie this time had this 45. And, uh,. I love both songs. I was just a kid with all that moaning and stuff. I, I didn't think of anything. I didn't think of it as dirty, but just as cool and mature music. Cool, mature music is how I saw it. Uh, what is that? Uh, Alison Moyet, uh, Invisible, and Hitchhike. El the Barge, Who's Johnny? Short, short Circuit theme. What's the other side? Urgh. Love me in a special way. Again, another song I only know because of Weird Al Yankovic who made a, he made a cover called Here's Johnny. Swing Out Sister Breakout. Picture sleeve. Dirty Money on the other side. 
<laughs> Radio Shack presents Christmas with the Peaches. I, I pretty sure I have this already. Another great recordings by the Peaches. And I think there's yeah several songs on this thing. Three different Christmas songs. I don't feel like naming them. Yeah, it's all a bunch of Christmas songs. 1975. This I know I have already. Come to me by France Jolie. The side is let's go or let go. Let go. Love trial, Kelly Marie. I love this disco song. I already have it. Uh, head for the stars. Against all odds. Uh, Phil Collins and uh, the search by Larry Carlton and Michel Conobi. This I don't have. I haven't played it yet. It looks new. Uh, I can't read the title because the lab the hole in the sleeve is too small. Uh, this is the A side. Put a little love in your heart by Annie Lennox and Al Green. This side is a great big piece of love. The spheres of celestial influence. So in great shape. Remember, I pay only two bucks for all of this. Uh, Betty Davis size Kim Carnes, which I already have, but this yeah probably already have a clean copy. Uh, miss you tonight. How are we doing on time? Well, six minutes already. Don't have that much to show for the next day anyway. Uh, higher love, Steel, Steve Winwood, and and I go. Uh, yeah, scuffed copy. I, I probably have a better copy of this. The SOP, The Sound of Philadelphia by MFSB, featuring the three degrees. MFSB meaning Mother, Father, Sister, Brother. I have an LP uh, as well. Something for Nothing. Apparently, this was the theme song of uh, Soul Train. Mo Bendy, Can't Leave That Woman Alone. And Where Do You Take a Broken Heart? This I'm 95% sure I already have. Dance a little step by Mash Macam. And One Night Stand. This also I'm sure I have. Freedom to Express Yourself by Denise Lassalle and Second Breath. Because I'm obsessive compulsive, every time I'm, I get, I end up with duplicates. I have to keep them until my I can sort out everything I own. And check the best copy and keep the best copy. So uh, I'm stuck with hundreds of duplicates right now. Like this one. Walk like an Egyptian by the Bengals. And angels don't fall in love. Byron Burns. Oh Baby and Oh Baby Instrumental. Katrina and the Ways with uh, Walking on Sunshine. New 1985 version exclamation point going down to Liverpool and this crappy little thing here Webster Hi-Fi Instruments of the Orchestra printed in the USA yep so uh, that ends Saturday then we're moving on to sun Sunday morning didn't buy many things but I spent a few dollars uh, let's see I spent on a few things uh, early bird fever you know when you just arrive and the guy's setting up some cool stuff on his table and all, all everything on this table is rare or stuff you've never seen so I get um, at first I see this mm. old Yogi Bear put the tie properly like this anything wrong with it? well I like that the uh, shoulders are a little bit rough is that uh, the tag has been cut that's annoying otherwise yeah, I love this tummy I didn't ask the price right away I kept looking I saw this thing here uh, I have to put the bear aside I'm missing I'm running out of space here I, I didn't unfold this thing yet, but it looks like some sort of bed sheet or I don't know what it is. It's a piece of cloth anyway, with a bunch of mask furry mascots, so I had to get it. You have a Bengals, Falcons, 
Doll face at me. Oh! Hmm. Cute. 49ers. Ah, I killed the human. Yeah. <laughs> well, for the animals. So. Yeah, I'll have to take a big, a better picture of this. I don't know what this is. Is it a, a curtain? A towel? A, I don't know. No, it's not a towel. Uh, definitely not. So I find this, and I, <laughs> I added this record. It had a, a few records, and they were five bucks each. And sun wasn't quite up, so I couldn't quite see the condition of the record, but um, I took a chance. And I forgot I got this just the past month. I forgot. <sighs> it did look familiar, but I thought it was because I played it on YouTube. I forgot that I played it on YouTube because I had purchased it the last month. I only found out when, once I got home. So. I this was five, this was ten, and Yugi was twenty. So I I said, can I have all three for thirty? Said yes. So this I probably will end up giving to a, a friend uh, of mine that I spoke to. Uh, that uh, it's a it's a friend I I made at the flea market. We only meet at the flea market when we cross each other's path, and we end up talking for a long time. And when I was done at the flea market Sunday morning, it was 8.45, we, we, when we reached the, the corner of the flea market outside, where I'm parked in this, this way, but he's parked that way, we, we end up at the corner there, where we have the aisles like this and like this. <laughs> we end up like stalling there, standing face to face and talking about records, uh, cinema, all kinds of topics that he doesn't get to speak too much to anyone hardly and same for me so between 8:45 when i was done going to the aisle and 11:30 we spoke for 2 hours and 45 minutes i don't know the adrenaline kept me talking despite being sick i had to blow my nose a few times and everything it wasn't i needed that i needed this this refreshing uh, conversation so anyway I, I, I will bring it back to the flea market, keep it in my car, and when I see him again, I'll say I have a gift for him. I hope he doesn't have it already. I know he has some jazz records. I don't know if Weather Report is his cup of tea. And those two are for somebody else, if he wants them. And the, f the next purchase, uh, that, that was, I, I had just started, just the uh, just one aisle. I turn, I go to the next aisle. At the corner of the eye, I see something that I missed, or wasn't out yet, actually, when I did the aisle. So I, I go through the aisle, and the lady had tucked something out of the car and put it on top of something else before she had the chance to put it on her table. And lo and behold, another Yugi. What are the odds? Different seller, same morning, within the same five minutes, I got this other old Yugi. Uh, that one also doesn't have the tag, or it it still does, but it's unreadable. It's washed out. Oh, okay. I'm just finding this out now. M Mighty Star, 1980. Oh, okay, 1980. Well, it is old. It's not 60s old, but it's pretty old. Anna Barbera Productions, 1980. This looks like a bit of Velcro or something. Not sure what that is has some used to be able to hang it so it doesn't have the collar it has this button I don't know if that's where the button comes from it looks that it came with it I don't know I would have to do some research but anyway I've asked how much is it she said 10 so I gave her 10 so I had to buy them so but these two within the same five minutes from two different tables isn't that amazing? I, f I find it amazing. Um, so, and finally, uh, all I got after that was this. Th there was a table with cool retro food related things, but oddly enough, despite my, my collection of food items and stuff, 
The only thing that attracted me was this old bag of Robin Hood. Uh, what is Farin again? A oh, flower. <laughs> uh, Farin. Uh, this it doesn't show on this video, but the yellow is really I like, popping. I love it, and it's easy to put on a display when when I eventually I set up all my a display of all my my food related things. I said, how much? And he said five sold. Gave him five. We left with that, and I. It's pretty old. It says copyright 1959. I doubt that it's that old. I really, really doubt that this bag goes back to 1959. It's a little bit like, uh, you, you know, when you get a Snoopy uh, item, it says copyright 1950 something, but the, the item is from the 70s. It's just a copyright of the, the character. Or, but uh, it is old because it, it's only in. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't have any grams, just, just says five pounds. So I know it's old. But even in the 70s, as I was a kid, I, that's the logo I would see. So I thought it was pretty neat, clean, and everything. And that's it. Thank you for sticking around and, and watching. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm.